Hey, Tactical Painter back out in the Suits Crafting Woodshop. Welcome back out to my shop. Today out here in the shop we're working on something special. I got a friend of mine that's put in a custom order. You've already seen the blank sitting right here in my hands. What we did was we had cast up a special blank for her. She wanted something in pink with glitter. And so we had to test out some glitters in the shop in order to figure out what glitters are going to stay suspended within the resin as it cured up. So we've got a hot pink blank with glitter in it that we had to get from Solar Color Dust found some angelite glitter that stayed suspended in our casting and it looks good so we're going to get this turned up i'll show you the casting video and then i'll show you the turning video so stick around and i'll show you how it turns out so let's get this blank cast up what we're going to be casting up today is a bright pink blank with some glitter we're going to be putting some sparkles in here see if you guys can get that on film here so we're going to be putting some holographic uh, angel light sparkles from uh, solarcolordust.com so we're going to be mixing that up in there I did some dice testing dice with this previously and here's how they turned out they look pretty darn cool and so we're going to be putting that inside of this casting today and then uh, we will just get this going so we've got two cups or two sets of cups I'm going to be doing one in flamingo pink pearl X powder and the other one in cotton candy aluma dust and so we're going to be doing cotton candy aluma dust and flamingo pink pearl X powder This necklace pen has two different sizes of barrels and so we're going to get both of these set up on here. There isn't really a highlight section or any feature on here that we want to highlight. Most of this is pretty much the same. Um, you know, you've got a lot of different swirls from those two different colors going in and out of each other. So I don't think it's much going to matter which end we use. So I'm just going to go from here, mark that one there, and I'll put this one here, drop my cap, mark that one there, leave a little room off of each end, and we'll get this cut. Alright, since this is a two-part blank, I need to mark my concentricity line, so I need to put a line right through there like that. So later on I know that that is the two sides that go back together. Let's get this moved out here. So let's flip that around. Maybe that'll... Oh, sweet. I love it when a plan comes together.
Okay, we'll mark our index line right there. So the body of our pen is 8 millimeters, so that's already loaded in there. And the cap to our pen is 11 millimeters. So we will get this drilled out. Went through the back side. Good clean front. Good clean back side. Good to go. Let's go get our cap drilled. Good clean face on that. Good clean back side. Yeah, no chip out. Looks good. Let's get that glued up. We're all ready for glue up on this Nerf's necklace. So let's go ahead and get our thick CA put onto our barrels. I've got these standing upright for our concentricity line. That way I know that these ends go together and I want the tubes to be as close to this end as I can. And so let's grab our thick CA and we will just get this going. Hit that with a touch of activator. Let's seal that right where it is. We'll let that set, and then we'll backfill that with some thin CA. Those are both set up, so we're just going to take the back side and we'll just fill back with some thin CA. I don't have much of a gap, but. Uh, so it shouldn't take a whole lot. We just drip a little thin CA and then it goes down into that gap through capillary action which is a fun word to say and then uh, just fills that all in that way you have less chance for catastrophe while turning. turn catastrophe, if you might say. Okay. Hit that with some activator. Just seal that in place. Cap that off and that'll set overnight. Do this side real quick. This is going to be a fun blink. I don't know if you can see the shimmer that's coming off of that while that's wet. But that looks really neat. Alright. We will let this sit overnight. We'll come back and we will get this turned tomorrow. Alright, got a clean end on that side. Clean end on that side. Let's go get our cap trimmed. Camera died on me there, but I got a good clean cut on that end and a good clean cut on this end. So let's go get this turned. We're going to get this turned. I've got my lathe turned all the way up to 3700. I'm going to be using a... Hey, mosquito eater, go away buddy. Go catch mosquitoes. I appreciate what you're doing, but leave me alone. We're going to get this turned with my new Easy Wood tools. I've got a 2 inch radius carbide bit on here that we're going to turn this up. We're just going to take it slow. It's my first experience turning uh, Alumilite with the carbide tool. So I'm just going to take this nice and easy.
Alright, and I do say that is ready for polish. Let's get this cleaned up. We turned our speed down to 1800, so let's go ahead and get this polished. Going to use some heavy grit sandpaper, take out any of the rough tool marks. And using those carbide bits, there aren't really a whole lot. There's a few here and there. So I'm just going to get this polished through with some heavy grit uh, polishing paper, and then we'll go through with our pads. Alright, I think we're good to go through with our polishing pads. Looks pretty darn good. Let's get some Dr. Kirk scratch free thrown on there. Polish this up and then we've got to do another process which is very unique to this type of pen kit. Apply our Dr. Kirk's liberal amount on there. Flip it over, buff it all off. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Now that we've got this nice and beautiful, we actually have to take and score a line, which you've seen that I've done here, at 9.30 seconds. Now we have to take a parting tool and remove up to that point, and then leave a sharp 90 degree straight in cut at that line in order to fit a piece later on. Okay, so I've got my parting tool, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in here and just come straight in, and I'm going to start down by the bushing, but just a little off the bushing because I want to hit my bushing, and then I'll clean up to the bushing and then slowly walk it up. close to a 90, just gotta clean that edge up a little bit. There. Much better. So that's how you do that. Alright, well it is time to assemble this necklace pen kit. So, straightforward from here, it's pretty simple. So we're going to assemble first our upper barrel. We place our cap onto here and then we very carefully press that in go from the other side here okay so that's pressed in now the next step, affix the band into the recessed end of the upper tube and press in to close the gap to the wood. Okay, I had to take that off camera in order to get a good firm grip on it there. So now we'll press that part in. There we go. Okay, now we press in the tip nut, recessed end first into the wider end of the lower barrel. This being our wider end, it's also our end with our line that we know how it lines up together. There we go. Now we press in the lower cap. We're almost done here. Had to bump it a little. So now all we have left is fix our spring over our refill. Place that inside of there. Thread these two together. 
and then that just simply clicks in like that. That is sure a nice looking little pen. Even if it is pink with sparkles. <laughs> uh, love you Val. Yeah, it's not bad. So now all that we have left to do is take our necklace here simply pass it through the eyelet that's right there link them back together and there we go that's done get you a look at that real nice sparkles in there nice pink shimmer all the way through it's a nice looking pen I actually really like that pretty sure she'll be happy All right, so there we go. So we've got our necklace pen done and it's on there. I know it clashes with what I'm wearing and I'm so sorry about that. Um, I am not a fashionable person, but you know, it's, it's a nice pen. It's functional. She wanted something she had around her neck that she could easily just clip it off, make the notes that she needs, and then just simply clip it back in. So it's real simple and over time, I'm sure that she'll get used to clipping it back in without getting ink on her fingers and everything. But, you know, it sits there, it's nice, it's functional, it's awesome. It's absolutely everything that I love to do, art with purpose or art with function. So it's fantastic, I'm excited to give this to her. She's looking forward to it. I've been kind of sending her photos as I've been making the blanks and doing different things. So she's excited to get it, I'm excited to give it to her. So let's just get out of here and let's go do this. Thank you so much for joining me out in the shop today. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I'll have a subscribe button for you right around here. Be sure to check out some of my other videos here and here. This is Tactical Painter out in the Suits Crafting Woodshop, signing out.